We start closing roads here in Birmingham on Saturday for the World Games. That's how close we are. We're about to talk to Montana Fouts as soon as we get her signal back back on her drive um, back to Alabama. And we're going to talk a little World Games with her. Um, Our show is being brought to you right now by our friends at Summit Tree Stands. They bring us Montana every week, Brownie. They absolutely do. And you can save by using Montana's code, Montana14. When you go to summitstands.com, that gets you 14% off all tree stands, summitstands.com. A leading manufacturer of premium quality, high-performance tree stands, safety harnesses, and tree stand accessories. Montana is with us on limited bandwidth right now. What's up, Montana? How are you? Good. How are y'all doing? Doing great. Thanks a lot. Uh, So the countdown has begun. How do you, I mean, this is a team you've never played, uh, you know, with a lot of these teammates. How do you get your mind right for a brand new team in this type of event with the World Games coming up? I mean, luckily I've gotten to play and practice with a lot of these girls before, so I do know them. But with a brand new team like that, it's just, I guess, making sure that you, like yourself, is prepared. So that way you can give them the best of yourself. But um, I'm excited to learn from all of them, you know, because they, they're they're all veterans pretty much. So I'm excited. Are, are you guys already practicing together? Oh, so they had this, – this summer's a little different than the previous summers, but um, they did have, like, the Canada Cup. I guess it was two weeks ago. But it's, like, a completely different team. So we'll have a couple practices together before the scrimmage games and then maybe another practice before the game. So we don't get to practice a whole lot together, no. Um, what Do you have a relationship with Monica Abbott? I think she's on the World Games team with you, and uh, SEC softball fans remember her. They didn't cheer for her as much as they did for you, Montana. But do you have a relationship with Monica Abbott? Did you watch her a little bit before you got to Bama? Yeah, I definitely watched her. You know, she's one of the best, if not best, in the whole, the whole world. So it's just a privilege to be on the same team as her. But I've gotten – to like I said practice with them and I think I tried out I can't remember maybe it was like during my freshman year and she was there and she's always been really helpful for me and helping me out along the way so yeah I consider her a good friend so you guys bang heads all the time in conference play in the SEC but when you get to um, a setting like this do the SEC girls stick together uh, and then all the Pac-12 and Oklahoma girls are on one side I, I mean I know you're blending as a team but is there a little uh, conference pride at all when you first get to camp? Um, I don't think so, at least not for me. You know, I just think that um, every situation that I've been with, especially with Team USA, I feel like everybody's just excited to be there just because it's just such an honor to play for them. So I think they just kind of – we all leave our prides at home, I guess you'd say. Montana Fouts is with us. We've got some breaking news in college athletics, Montana, that we're going to break while you're on here. You're welcome to give your reaction. I don't know if you care or not. So it's out now. It is out now. According to sources, USC and UCLA are planning to leave the Big Ten, are planning to leave the Pac-12 for the Big Ten as early as 2024. John Wilner, this has been bubbling for about an hour. John Wilner, who covers... Uh, the USF, or excuse me, the uh, Pac-12, I've got a lot of things going on right here, uh, is reporting at first, and he points out it has not been finalized at the highest levels of power, but USC and UCLA planning to leave the Pac-12 for the Big Ten as early as 2024, so the Big, Twin, uh, Big Ten grows. Montana brought to you by Summit Tree Stands, summitstands.com, code Montana14, 14% off tree stands. There with code Montana 14. You've been a part of the SEC and seen Oklahoma and Texas, though you won't face them as conference teams coming to the conference. Kind of crazy seeing all this upheaval on all these conferences we've always known, Montana, growing up, and now these teams are going everywhere. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely different. I mean, I feel like it's going to be weird saying that, especially like UCLA being a team that I've played several times, not being in the pack, but um, I feel like hopefully it'll just help our sport grow. Maybe they can get some more coverage and um i don't know i hope it helps all sports i mean is is the big 10 even a factor when it comes to women's softball yeah i mean i feel like really even out of the power of five i mean any team that you play at any point in the year can beat you you know because there's especially i feel like my age group and like a little younger because we would always be recruited at like 13 14 so Sometimes girls wouldn't peak until they're 17, 18, like in the recruiting age. And 
I guess you could say like almost like falling through the cracks and now they're just like shining stars all over the place. They're, you know, they're just not in the SEC or the pack or anything like that. They're all over the place. So I don't know. You can get beat from any team, any conference. All right. You're driving. I, I assume, are you, are you driving back home away from Kentucky? Well, not you're at home, my bad, but you're driving back to your temporary home here in Alabama to get ready for the world games. Is that where you're headed? Yes. So we just left Kentucky this morning and then I fly out. I think we fly from Birmingham to Atlanta for a couple practice practice days. So, yes, I'm on my way back to Tuscaloosa. All right, Montana Fouts getting ready for the World Games. We'll talk more about that with her next week. Montana, thank you for the time. Safe travels. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thank you. All right, take care. Montana with us on the JohnstonRVCenter.com hotline. She joins us courtesy of Summit Tree Stands, code Montana14. 14% off all tree stands, SummitStands.com. Summit Tree Stands, carefully engineered to be the most silent, secure, comfortable, and safest tree stands available. 